Hello everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing to showcase Mapcraft submissions. This is submitted to us by Gastu. SC Tactics, Terran Heroics, an evil wizard from Warcraft seeks to dominate the universe, but to do so requires the aid of those from the StarCraft universe. Traveling across space and time, the wizard searches for someone to help him obtain his goal, enter an alternate turn-based StarCraft. So apparently this map is extremely long, so I think I'm just going to play for about an hour to showcase it and then we'll wrap it up. There's multiple levels and uh, multiple difficulties. I think it utilizes some bank data. So I think you maybe are supposed to, to come back to it. Anyway, we should. I didn't download the map before we started. I should have done that first. Okay, here we go. And yeah, A I set to medium. I'm not sure if that's where we select the difficulty or it's once we're in game. So again, let's give this a shot. Turn-based is intriguing. I have been playing some XCOM lately. So hopefully I have the chops to take this on. An evil Chrono Wizard enlists the assistance of his younger versions. Help the youngest wizard find someone to aid him in his task. Okay. I wonder what what it's about when it says Terran Heroics. We're only going to be working with Terran. Apparently there's multiple levels of this, and the first level alone can take close to an hour. So again, that's what we'll showcase. We'll see how close we can get to the end at least. But then it moves into Zerg and Protoss. I guess there's multiple races. I don't know. I don't really know the specifics other than what's been chatted about in our Mapcraft chat on the Jay Barino Discord. By the way, join the Jay Barino Discord. You can find it. There's a link on my channel, my main channel. It's in the little banner. There's a little Discord icon. Join the Discord. You can join the chat. Get all the submissions for yourself. Granted, they're also all in the descriptions, but uh, come and hang out. We like to have fun there. And also, you'll be made aware if we decide to do something like this again. Press tab to go through different types of selected units. Okay, that's standard StarCraft II tip. Here we are. He's got a little pet phoenix. Okay. What? Where is this, and who are you? Unless you have a good reason for bringing me here, you'll regret forcing me here. Hmm, yes. Well, I believe that we are where, where we are is a good question. Who you are is obvious. The most important question, I believe, is when are we? Hmm, yes, as expected of me. Let's see what, what was the first question. Ah, yes, where are you, I believe? This is my, our domain. As to who I am, I am you, you are me. As for why I brought mysteries, or myself here, I have very important tasks that I would trust to no one. But myself, to complete this, I brought you here. As for making me regret bringing you here, that is unlikely unless, of course, you fail me. As for when it is seven years from your time, ten from the me in the middle, and twelve for our young foolish self on the left. That's impossible. I can't believe a word you say. Ah, to be young and idiotic again. I forgot how much of a fool I once was. Nothing is impossible with the right drive and tools. Anything can be accomplished. Perhaps, but the type of altering space and time even I know must have dire consequences if possible at all. Heh, <laughs> so my plan works, eh? The older wizard, he's like right, he's right on the cusp of fully understanding what's going on. Yes, indeed. Plan? What are you talking about? I'm not getting any younger, but there's so much more I wish to do and accomplish. So I thought about how I could possibly extend time. Then it hit me. Nazdormu, the aspect of time. If I could somehow contain his essence and bend it to my will, I could be immortal. All time would be mine to control. Hmm, yes, it worked. Even better than I could have hoped. If you have all this power, what need do you possibly have of us? I may be powerful enough to fight an entire army by myself, but even I am not omnipotent. My domain is more of a temporal space than it is a physical place. Here, I am nearly unkillable, but I don't face an army. I face four united armies, the Alliance, the Horde, the Night Elves, and the Undead. The Horde? That's nonsense. They were crushed. I haven't even a clue what you mean when you say Night Elves are undead. So this is true, then. The Horde rises again soon, and the new threat to the Undead led by the Lich King. The Night Elves are hardly a threat, though, and don't dare wield arcane powers. A history lesson is not important at this moment. Suffice to say, I have enemies on all sides, and it would be long before they break their way into my domain. I like the different outlooks of Warcraft history by the young guy and the middle guy. I still don't want see why I should help you at all. Take care of yourself if you're so powerful. Was I truly so stupid when I was your age? What reason do you have to help me, you ask? I know you're selfish because I'm selfish, and what's more selfish than ensuring that your future self dominates the entire world? And in case you don't realize, having you do it 
is uh, doing myself. Having you do it is doing it myself because we are the same, you dolt. So if you're done interrupting me, let's get on with this. I need three things if my future plans are to come to fruition. The heart of a pit lord, dragon eggs, as many as possible. The staff of the Dalaran Archmage. A pit lord? Are you crazy? Dragon eggs are inevitably defended by a mother dragon. Anyone foolish enough to mess with them will be consumed. You ask the impossible. The staff of the Dalaran Archmage? Isn't that just a legend? No one's seen the staff for thousands of years, if it ever existed. I'm not sending you alone to face a pit lord and a mother dragon. Obviously, I don't want my past selves dead. And what reason would I have to send you on a wild goose chase for a staff? Do you ever think perhaps there's a reason such a powerful artifact hasn't been seen for so long? That perhaps it, it exited the, the main time stream at a point in time? I found a plan of existence that is very similar to ours and yet very different. Very similar but very different? What nonsense are you talking? Was I truly so inept? In the time... In the same way, a rock has a lot of similarities to a boulder, but the two are very different. At night and day, our opposites are the same cycle. They are alike yet opposite, just like heads and tails of a coin extreme. Okay. We gotta get this show on the road. Right, so we're gonna skip through this. You can, you know, slow down the video if you'd like to read all of this. But he's basically saying, go find this stuff for me. Probably gonna get help from the StarCraft universe. Now I'll grant you these powers. Okay. Wow, incredible! Yes, it's everything I thought it would be. This is incredible. Now go and accomplish your tasks. I will be defending my domain from the enemy armies. What happens if you are killed, though? Won't this all be pointless? Ha! They'll have to kill me far more than once. If they manage to slay me, I will pull an entire timeline of myself that survived into this realm and overwrite his mind. What if you run out of surviving alternate selves? There are infinite timelines, infinite me's, even some living peacefully. Ugh. Okay, so what's going to happen if you die? Yeah, so get going. Fools, as if I would risk my actual past selves. It seems like the alternate timelines of myself are a bunch of idiots. Hopefully they're capable enough to at least do the pitiful tasks I've assigned them. Ah, time to slaughter imbeciles. Okay. So we have this fellow. Um. Oh, Lord. W what? Okay. Let's play the tutorial. Select the fire bat. Say the word. Now left click the mouse or hit W on the fire bat. Now right click the marked yellow location to block the zerglings from coming in. Where is the... Okay, I see. Well done. Now the zerglings can't get past here. Click on the zergling to see how far it can move and attack. Okay. All right, now let's make use of a marine. Let's make us a marine. Select the barracks, then left-click the train button or T and make a marine. Okay. Oh, it's so tiny. Train. Marine. We have money. When you make a unit, it will be garrisoned. Garrisoned units regenerate HP and energy each turn, but let's take that unit out. Click on the marine icon on the unit panel. Select an empty space. There we go. Now that marine... Now that the marine... Exists. Let's use a stim pack to increase his movement. Select the marine and either... Okay, so... Abilities. Stim pack. Now we can move even further. Okay. Marine. Come over here. Let's move him to this location. Oh, move. There you go. So he can go a little bit further. It's like, it's like XCOM in StarCraft. Now to harvest minerals. Select the SCV... And move him to the minerals. Done. You'll gain minerals every turn for doing this. So you're basically garrisoning SCVs into the mineral patches. Let's create another SCV. Select the command center. Train an SCV, I presume. Unload the SCV. Right there. Right here, actually. Can I? Okay, and it's the end of the turn for him. So once you unload, you can't have them move. Let's make another barracks. Left-click the ability button or hit Q to select the barracks. Okay, that's done. Now let's end our turn. Double-click the button at the top of the screen and give the enemies a chance. Let's just check the tooltips. Just like normal SC, SC match, you need to balance how you spend on production buildings and how much you spend on units. Okay, sure, sure.
Not our fire bat. Can they hit diagonally? It looks like they cannot. Okay, now we want to attack. Can we... Okay, we can't move because he's blocked, but we want to attack. Fire bats can hit up to three enemies in front of them. Attack. Now let's do the same with the marine. Okay. So... I assume just because we're in the tutorial, it's stopping us, but presumably I'd want to move as well. Okay, attack. We got one. Now time to hit him with the heavy artillery. Select the siege tank and attack them again. That has a huge range. Okay, so we want to attack. I mean, we're going to hit our own stuff. There we go. These are the basics. Now time to forfeit. Click the options button in the bottom right and double click the red forfeit button. Okay. Okay, we're back now. I like this this menu. I think I think it's just it's just stuff. It's just doing stuff. So the exit options. Wow, this is this is pretty uh pretty huge. So again, I'll just let the wizard do his thing. He's kind of getting overwhelmed. Let's head into uh, normal one. So this is the plane he mentioned. It doesn't seem quite similar. Ugh, getting used to this power will take some time. It's so confusing. I can't tell if I'm seeing the present, future, or past. And so many variables, so many possible futures, so many alternate timelines, alternate possibilities. How does he not go insane? Hey, who are you? I've never seen you around. Well, of course you wouldn't have seen me around. I've been off saving the universe. Yes, the universe. Just take a guess at who I am. You're Jim Rayner? Really? I thought he was younger, but he's the greatest hero I know. Jim Rayner, you say? Ah, yes, I'm Jim Rayner, but you can call me Grandpa Jim. Why would I call you Gra- Okay. 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 We're just gonna- we're just, I mean, I could just hit skip. I, I want to get started here. There we go. Okay. Don't let Rayner die. Defeat all the Zerg. So, the entire map is covered by a grid, which we can actually turn off. But I don't think I want to- I don't think I want to skip move and skip attacks. No, we want we just want to show it all. We just will if it if it becomes too much, we'll we'll turn it off. So I'm assuming it's like XCOM where you can't shoot on your first turn. Shooting always ends your turn. You typically have two turns. You can move and then shoot. Another way to tell it is units that haven't moved yet appear to be walking in place. Units that haven't acted yet are colored normally. Okay, defensive units, enemy units at starts of levels are defensive. They won't make a move until you attack them or enter their attack range. Just like XCOM, enemies will spawn every four turns. Units can counterattack if both units are capable of countering. Most melee units can't be countered or counter. Units with more than 50% HP will do normal damage. They do reduced damage at lower health. That's nice. You get an edge if you initiate battle. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. The first thing I would like to do ah, is move our SCVs into mineral patches. Okay, and then one inside gas. And then we have to decide what we want to build. We have a lot of options. We obviously need a barracks, so let's go ahead and make one. Let's see, barracks. We can't afford anything else. Let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get a barracks. Hopefully I'm not making a huge mistake here. Who is currently selected? I thought I was building Oh no, the barracks is built. Okay, and it can rally three spaces out. That's actually very nice. We probably want to rally further out. Uh, does that count as a turn when they rally? I'm not sure. Talk to me. Jim Rayner, can you do anything special? You have Stimpak. He takes... Oh, it costs, H, it costs HP. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to use that. Okay. Huh? Let's get in the minerals. Okay, that's good. And then you can't do anything. It looks like you, he can build two things, which is nice. Auto turret seems like a smart choice, or we build a second barracks. Actually, can we? No, it looks like that's the end of his turn. Okay, so let's start moving up. How far can we move? The movement is pretty limited. So again, typically you can move an attack, or maybe you can only move, maybe you can only do one or the other in this instance. I don't know. I'm thinking more of uh, like XCOM. Okay, let's move up. Jim Rayner can always use Stimpak that increases their movement, but it costs HP. 
Okay, do we have anything else? No, so I'm thinking... Oh, we do have another Marine here. Move him down. Can we make anything at the barracks? No, we cannot because its turn is ended. It's a little hard to tell. There's the train. We want to get a fire bat. Ungarrison him. Move him out. And then we can move him as well. Okay. So I think that's that's ended our turn. It's hard to tell. Can we train multiple things in one turn? It looks like we can. We can make four units. At, or No, I'm sorry. That, so that was two. Let's unload. Move into the minerals. It's a little clunky. And it's definitely hard to get used to, but I think I've I think I've got the, the the semi hang of it. We should get a lot of minerals this next turn. We want to get all of this all saturated here soon enough. You can't do anything. Can you even can you even make it? Okay, so that's it. So we're gonna end our turn. Here they come. Seems like they've got some some good movements here. Okay. So he was able to move and attack. Okay, so let's move you over here. And then attack the Zergling. Ah, that's going to hit my Marine. We're going to have to move him down here. And then let's attack with the Fire Bat. Finish him up with the Marine. This Hydralisk concerns me the most. I think we can just block in the Zergling entirely, or we move down. There's no cover mechanics, so we just have to make it's. We just have to make units. Period. Armed and ready. Okay. Move. What range can we attack in? Is my question. Let's move you over here. Or like, what? What's the line of sight? That kind of stuff. I'd like to try to get rid of what's this up? Hydralisk. Talk to me. Jim Rayner, move on down here. Let's see if we can finish up the Hydralisk. Got him. Okay, because Jim Rayner does a boatload of damage. Okay, so that's all of that. We are going to... Build... Probably nothing. Let's go ahead and just start garrisoning more SCVs. Build more, build more SCVs. I can see now why this is... Um, I can see now why this is quite time-consuming. Unload. Unload. Move into the minerals. Move into the minerals. SCVs have decent movement. Oh, okay, good. I thought I moved him to the wrong place. Let's see. What next? We need more. We need more units. It's never, never a bad thing. Train. Okay, that's all of our money. Unload him. I had thought he would rally, but he did not rally. I'm curious, understanding how this rally works. Let's just turn that off for now. Okay, so now we have two marines. I don't think we're gonna be able to move and shoot with them because they just spawned. Or maybe they just can't see the Zergling, which I'm suspecting is the case. There's no sort of overwatch, right? It's just the enemy will take, will, will just attack once they're close. But it's only one Zergling. We shouldn't lose anything. Turn this off. Okay, let's end the turn. See, there's a move and uh, attack right here. They're coming from the other side. See, man, they can. They have some pretty... Pretty long movements. They're able to move pretty far. This marine is dead. Okay, so we're back. The first thing I'd like to do is train another fire bat. And then unload him. Let's see. I had hoped we could get a little bit closer. Does he have stim pack? He does. So we're going to increase his movement. Still can't quite get where we need to be. To take this, uh, to take this Hydralisk and Zergling out. We're going to attack here. Okay. You gonna give me orders? What's and let's go ahead and hit with Jim first, just to clarify how much damage he can do. Because we want to go for this Hydralisk first. Attack. If you haven't played XCOM, this is probably pretty confusing. Ah, see, there's the counter. You gonna give me orders? Let's move down here. 
Can we move? Okay, we can move here so we can hit this Zergling without attacking my own stuff. I don't even know if there's friendly fire, to be honest. Okay, attack. Got rid of him. That's good. We have... We have multiple Zerglings still left. Let's go ahead and make one more Marine. Unload. Right there. This better be good. Move and shoot. Okay. So we have three Marines left, but two Zerglings on the field. So the best we can do is just hope that... Um, let's go ahead and attack here. Oh, that doesn't actually kill them. We do have another Marine, though, so I think... We take this one out. It takes three shots. We don't have enough for another SCV. We need to fully saturate all of this. So we have one more Zergling. We have to end our turn. There's really nothing else we can do here. We don't have any other units that have actions, I don't think. Say the word. Okay. End the turn. That's fine. Okay, which direction do we need to go? Maybe I think we want to come down here and destroy this first, so we're gonna start we're gonna start moving towards it. Nothing to attack. We can't we can't do a double move or a dash. That would be nice. Okay. Um Let's go ahead and just move you down here and then attack the Zergling. And then we're gonna have you attack here. That should finish him up. Break it down. Jim Rayner, let's just let's just start moving our units down towards this hatchery down here, where then we're gonna have to make our way back. Meanwhile, let's train two SCVs. This is very neat. I like this quite a bit. It's it's very weird and just very intriguing. Alright, we gotta get inside these mineral clusters. You move on up, we'll get you inside next time. Okay, and then barracks, we can make one more marine, so we might as well do that. We have many options. By the numbers, boys. And I think we want to leave... I think we're just going to want to leave the fire bats here. With the anticipation that the zerg will move towards us, towards us. And then these units... These units will be able to... Uh, to go and attack that hatchery. So let's just, again, basically block the Zerg in. There's nothing else to really do. Let's end the turn. They're spawning units now. It's because it's the end of the fourth turn. Man, they, they have good movement. They have a lot of movement. I would love to get um, a medic. Yeah, see, their movement compared to my unit's movement is pretty huge. Granted, they're melee, but it's not like our fire bats can move much further either. So we could skip all of this, in theory. May lose this Marine. Okay, no. We got lucky there. Um, can we make medics? See, we can make medics, but they're not unlocked. So the idea is you have to make progress to unlock units, because currently all we can make are Marines. Okay. Let's make another SCV. Unload him. Okay, and now we are fully saturated in minerals, and we're going to need to make some more marines. We might as well use our money. Okay, unload him. Unload him. I could probably be doing this in a better way. Um, there's really no good place for you to move until we kill these, these zerglings. Likewise with Jim Rayner. Let's get him a little closer, because we know he can take the hits. Attack here. He cannot quite one-shot. Let's just go ahead and clean this up. We should be able to destroy this hatchery. We should be able to destroy this hatchery. On this turn. Okay, so the weapon damage has a range. Okay, let's keep moving up. So... Is there a... Where does it say the range? Is the range is 3, power 30. See, that did 39, which I think was about half of his damage, or half of his health. 
So our goal here is, can we kill him? And it has a range of three, so we should be able to... Oh, we can't attack him. Crap. Um, I don't think we can get these guys over here. Even if we stim-packed, it's worth a shot, but we're going to need these guys to destroy the Zerglings that are coming at us this way. Let's... Use Stimpak. Ah, see, he can't get through because we're blocked by our other units. Okay, we're going to end this turn. They can't quite get to us, so we're still in decent shape. We have to destroy that hatchery, then we can maybe set up another command center and move towards the last base. Getting through that base is going to be tough. We're going to need a lot of marines. And there isn't, like, an overwatch mechanic. Okay, let's move you over here. Then we can still take the shot. There we go. Let's move you down here. Now we want to start getting rid of their production. So we're going to move. Can't shoot. Um, I don't think we need all these units here, actually. So let's, let's get prepared for the incoming Zerg attack. From this direction. We realistically only need maybe three Marines down here. We, we should be able to clean this up in one more turn. This better be good. Okay. That's good. We don't really need gas because we can't do anything with it. I'm going to make one SCV. Unload him. Once you get in the habit of this, it's really not, it's not too bad. Yeah, we can't make factories. We can't make starports. We can make auto turrets, though. Probably worth setting one up down here. So let's move you. And then set up an auto turret. Here. How far can it shoot? Gives the unit another opportunity to attack. That's pretty good. What's the range? Range of five? So one, two, three, four, five. If the Zerglings move in close, we should be able to hit them. So let's move everything back just a little bit. If they come in range, they'll hit our marines, but our then our uh, our auto turret can attack them. Meanwhile, we want to get down here and attack this next, or, or set this up next. Um, let's train more marines. I realize I did not need another barracks. That was a waste of money, but that's okay. Okay, let's move you up to the front, and we're going to end our turn. Okay, you're going to get smoked next turn. So this is, it's much different than XCOM in that you're, in XCOM, your goal is to end turns by killing things before they can attack you. But our movement is so limited in this specific case that that's going to be too hard to do. Okay. Move. Actually, okay, yeah, you can't hit, you can't actually hit it. Let's make sure that you can get in close enough so that you can actually deal damage. Attack. And then let's move you down here. And then attack. There we go. Okay. So, we're safe down here. No more spawned enemy units. I'm curious what happens if I turn the grid off. What's up? Is it easy to see? Ah, okay. You know what? I like this a lot more. I do like this a bit more. So, let's get you back down here. You two are frozen in time. We need to move our SCV up here next, though. Because we would like to build a command center within the next few turns. This is perfect. We attack right here. Right here. Can do damage to both of these Zerglings. And then let's use our let's use our auto turret. To 45 damage. Can we see how much HP it has? Power is 35, so we should be able to kill any of these. Oh, no. Okay. Um, we're going to move, though. We want to get these units moved up. Because we need to start an offensive here. And then, so let's move up in the front and then start cleaning these up. Move up. Attack. Okay, that's another one down. We're not going to be able to kill this Zergling. But we can move up with our other Firebat. Do the damage. That did kill him. Okay. And then let's move up. I'm thinking what I'll want to do is make another SCV. 
I can see now why this takes a while. You can skip the attack and the movement and just see what the outcome is in the options. So, like, if we turned off... If we turn off skip attacks, it'll speed up the gameplay. I don't want to do that, though. I kind of, I kind of like watching it this way. Okay, so we're going to unload. And then we are going to move you as far as we can this direction because we're going to set up auto turrets along the way. I think that will help quite a bit. So these guys are frozen in time. This is pretty risky. This front guy's probably going to die. I think the only thing we can do now is end our turn. Actually, no. The only thing we can do now is actually make marines. Might as well make way more units. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Whew, excuse me. Okay. So let's unload these fellas. One here. Is there anything gained by going up in this direction? No. One here. And then one here. Okay. And then we're going to move these up as well. Okay, far down as you can go. Again, movement is fairly limited. If there was maybe eventually you get like an engineering bay or an academy or something such that you can upgrade movement, that would be awesome. And also, again, there's a, you know, some sort of overwatch ability. Like, I have an extra turn. Not a turn, but I still have an extra action left on these marines. If they were in range of something, they could attack it, but they can't. And all they can do is, is use stim pack and move a little bit further. I'd much rather, you know, put them on... Overwatch, meaning if an enemy is moving, they'll take a reaction shot. But I notice there's no there's no mischance. That's also a big key here. There's there's no mischance at all. Calculating enemy movements. They, did they not spawn? Oh, they're they're going to spawn enemies at the end of this round. So this is our chance. And we have no medics, so we do have to be careful with Jim. Okay, Mr. SCV, let's just keep moving you as far as you can. We'll get you up there eventually, man. Meanwhile, let's just get our Marines. Get these marines back down here. I think I'm doing... I think I'm doing well. The biggest problem is we're going to start running into... Getting blocked. So we just have to move up with each turn. We're going to lose some of these marines each time, but that's not really that bad. Okay, just move up. Everybody move up. I think... Let's just go ahead and skip movements for now. And they'll just pop pop up there. Yep, there we go. I like that that's an option. Okay, there we go. And I think this guy is trapped. No, see, you can move through your own units, but enemy units can't move through you. I like that. Okay. I think we're in good shape to end our turn. We could build more marines. Or fire bats. I'm thinking we just make marines. I'm not sure when the enemy units spawn if they get a free action or not. That's going to be key. Unload. End the turn. Okay, it looks like they spawned units. Let's go ahead and turn movement back on. Okay, so... Let's get as close as we can. Can we take a shot from here? We can. And these Hydralisks and some of these Zerglings are pre-placed, so they shouldn't actually take extra shots. We're getting a little aggressive here, but we have enough money that we can make more Marines each turn. Let's take, let's finish this guy up. Not quite. Let's try to just move in. I think we can hit him from here. No, we cannot. We can Stimpak, though, and finish him up. I think that's worth it. Oh, never mind. That was a mistake. You have to stim pack before you move. So let's go ahead and do that up here. Now move. Still not in range. So let's just go ahead and, and just move up where we can. This, I mean, and this is just like XCOM where the movement is pretty tedious. It really is pretty tedious. There's no, there's no better option. Let's get the SCV as far up as possible. And then this SCV. I think we do want to just turn movement. Skip movements. What's the plan? Okay. Yeah, I like this better. We're almost in range to set up a command center so that we can 
We could have just made the SCVs up here and then slowly moved them down and garrison them in here, but it makes more sense, I think, to build a, a command center. Just do it here? That's fine. Okay. This be good. Let's move them up. Gotta be leading with the fire bats, but they were too far behind in the first place. Let's end the turn. We're gonna take some damage here. Okay. I should turn movement back on for the uh, for the enemies. Okay, you're gonna die next turn anyway, so let's move you up as far as possible and do some damage. I think, like this. Those have the reaction shots. We want to stim pack and move the fire bat up here if possible. So in order to do that. We are going to need to destroy this Zergling. You gonna give me orders? Take the shot here. This better be good. Um, move here and then take the shot here. Please kill it. Okay, perfect. Now we want to move. Can't quite get there. We're going to stim. We're going to move you here and then do the extra damage. This is going to hit our own fellow, so we're going to move him in advance. Back one. Take the shot. That's great. Meanwhile, I don't think we'll quite make it even with Stimpak. But I'd like to try it. Not quite. If we move him up here, we'll end up hitting our own fire bat. So I don't think... I don't think we want to... I don't think we want to do anything with him. We can move him, but we're not going to do anything with him. Move on up, we can hit the Zergling closest. If we're lucky, we'll get this kill. We did. Let's move on up with the SCV. Let's go ahead and set up a turret. Unfortunately, that's going to block us a bit more, but I think it's fine. Jim Rayner, we don't really need anymore, so we'll just keep him back. Let's make some SCVs. Okay. And this is time consuming because each action, like, it, it is a bit tedious to click all this stuff. But, again, I, I like it quite a bit. Now we have more money, but we don't really need it. Where is Jim Rayner? Where did I even put him? He's here. Oh, he can't. I must have already moved him. All right, this next turn, we're going to lose a lot of these fellas. Let's go ahead and turn movements back on for the enemy turn. We might as well make some more Marines. Again, the rally point... I want to use. If a construction building is sending all constructed units to the target point un until canceled or within three spaces, if a unit will send the unit towards target position at the end of each turn if they can move. Okay. So just rally. Rally. Train Marines. Train Marines. We got the money. Can we queue up? Okay, that's all of our cash. We're going to end the turn. There we go. They're ungarrisoning and trying to move at the end of the turn. That was expected. Okay, it's our turn already. That's good. We are going to move the fire bat here. We can hit both of these buildings. The reaction shot may kill it, but I don't think there's a reaction shot on melee units. There is not. Okay, if we can, we want to get rid of this sunken colony. Break it, down. it may end up killing us, but we'll see. Okay, yep, there's the reaction shot. Let's just move on in. If we can get rid of this this turn, I'll be happy. It's softening us up significantly, though, so it's going to be tough to finish up. There we go. I think I think we'll get it this this turn. Again, I could take the time to understand, you know, the amount of damage and the and the differences in possible damage um, that we can deal versus how much damage this thing can take. There we go. Okay, we've destroyed it. I just realized there's a refinery down here. It's possible they just appear as refineries and not geysers. I'm not sure. 
Um, now, unfortunately, we're pretty much stuck. Um, let's go ahead and just move with the SCV. We can set up even another turret because we have money to do it. It can't attack because it just spawned, I think. Okay, and then the only thing left to do is just start moving all these guys up. So let's turn, let's skip movements. I think if I was playing without recording, I would always skip movements. I would just always skip them. But, because you guys are watching. Um, so this is going to be, this is going to be bad for us. We're going to take some damage here. We're probably going to lose two units. Maybe only one. It depends on who they attack, but probably two units. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now, our fire bat goes down. That's okay, because there aren't that many units left on the map. Nice. Okay, the auto turret. Let's overdrive it. Does not restore movement. Okay, can we, can we not use it? Maybe we have to attack first. Yep. Go ahead and use it. Might as well. Don't have too good... I don't want to have too good to use syndrome here. Let's move towards the hatchery. The enemy will be spawning units after this turn. Okay, attack. Reaction shot. There it is. That just ensures that you consistently have to make units. Okay, my primary concern is that... Zerglings will spawn from this hatchery. Again, I don't know if they get free at free movements or not, but if we're kind of camping them, we may be able to finish them up. Okay, take them out. Perfect. Let's move up Jim Rayner because he does good damage. Okay, let's move closer and build another turret because we have money to do so. Or we make a barracks. Let's build a barracks. And then, it, okay, that's the end of its turn. Okay, I should have known better. I should have known better. That's okay. We'll have it for next time. Moving these fellas up assumes that I won't be winning next time, and I think I will. I could be stimming these guys. Uh, it definitely makes sense to make production up front. Let's just end the turn. Yeah, so they do get free, they get free actions every time they spawn. That's pretty rough. Um, let's attack here. Let's overdrive him. And just finish him up. Break it down. Jim Rayner, let's move you closer. What's the and just have you attack the hatchery. And then the rest of you, we're going to have clean up these Zerglings. Actually, let's move you first. So that if you, if you survive, numbers, which you should, we can have you attack the hatchery next turn. Okay, this... We can use Overdrive on it so it can attack. Nice. I'm getting the hang of the... I'm getting the hang of the controls. I am getting the hang of the controls. Move up. Now we can make Marines. Okay, let's unload one. Then move him. Then attack. Seems like this could be pretty unbalanced just by the fact that you can make... You can just big production structures up front. Close to things. Okay, let's end the turn. I don't think we even need to move the rest of this stuff up. Talk to me. Okay, attack. Attack. No more spawned units, and now we have to try to finish this up. Whoops. Nice. Can we hit it from here? We can. Attack it with the SCV. Go! He did it. All right, Marine, finish it up for us. And that's the story of how we defeated the undead. Or, er, Protoss. Uh, hybrid? Help me, help get me out of here, kid. Zerg, but you didn't defeat them. You didn't even make it to the city. Yes, yes, Zerg, I knew that. Maybe so, but it was, it was his. My first victory over the L Zerg. Yes, yes, the Zerg. Then what happened? Ah, yes, I'd like to know as well. I mean, a certain someone chooses the next level. Even I can't be certain. What? Who? But I thought you were Jim Rayner. Shouldn't you know what happened? Well, of course, but it's quite draining on me to recall the past of someone else's, uh, something long past. I like how we're just blatantly lying to this child. 
Weapon upgrades increase the damage of those units by 10%. It's not shown on their power, but it's applied during combat. Now we can make medics. Interesting. Also, again, this guy is just bananas. He's just killing everything. All his stuff's on autocast. He's just... I like how he just uses stuff on his own, trying to hold these fellas off. We... You know what? Can we even control him, really? Because our base is going down. You need, to, you need to defend the middle here. Okay, here we go. We're back. Can he handle these guys? I, I don't think he can actually lose. I think this is just a menu where you're watching a giant battle going on. This is absurd. There's the undead. Humans. Night elves. Orcs. It is recommended you do the previous levels, or you may just be stuck with Marines. Okay. Let's skip this and just see what the layout is. I don't plan on playing this whole one, but I just want to try this. Okay, here we are. We don't even have a command center. Or do we? Defeat all the Zerg. Don't let Rainer die. Okay, so we theoretically want to come up here first and make sure we bring SCVs. Zerg units will begin regenerating HP if they haven't taken damage in the previous turn. Protoss will do the same, but with shields. Whether you have less than full energy or begin, or you will begin to regenerate energy. Okay. Interesting. And we can only make medics this time, which is not a bad thing. Standing by. They have a heal ability, I presume. Reduces damage. Okay, wait. Can they not actually heal? It reduces damage by 10 to 20%. Not bad. Not bad, but not... Uh... Not super useful, and it seems like you really want to focus on the hatcheries because they spawn units every time. So this is really cool. I think, I mean, there's no way we're going to finish this map total, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I think this is a good showcase of, of how this works. So I think that's cool. See, it says their attack. Oh, oh, they do have a heal. It's their attack. Their attack is a heal, and it, they can heal for 25, but then on top of that, they also have painkiller. So if you know someone's going to get hit next turn, but they're at full health, use Painkiller. Or heal them based on whether, you know, whichever you could prioritize to make make sure that they survive. Also, I noticed, was this here last time? Where it says what my income is every turn versus the enemy's income every turn? I don't know. But I don't think we can even make a command center if we wanted to. No, we can. But we'd want to we'd wanna set that up, make the command center, make some SCVs. Uh, the, the turn might be ended for the command center. But I can already kind of see how I would approach this. But I like this a lot. This is very unique. It flows pretty well. It feels pretty balanced as well. Um, other than the fact that, you know, maybe make it so that your production structures... Well, no, I mean... Your production structures being so far back and your movement being limited means it would take five, six, seven turns just to get a unit that spawned here over here so it might be worth even adding a tip that says bring workers with you because you want to you need to set up new buildings closer to the enemy otherwise there's no way there's just no way that you would uh realistically have the time to move your units up it makes way more sense i think to uh to make those structures further up so you're not wasting turns getting units up to the front but anyway this is really really neat i like this a lot um I, is there even a way to go back to the I mean, I guess we could we could forfeit just to go back to the main menu, but um, really intriguing. I like how you even have the option to turn off the the wizard autocast. It says this means he will die a lot more unless you control him. So it doesn't matter if he dies. I think is the the point here. Anyway, uh, Gastu, this was really cool. This is very neat, incredibly unique, and it 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 works pretty well. I I it's not buggy. It's not it's not as weird as I originally expected. The menu's a little confusing as the wizard jumps around and kills things. I wasn't sure if I needed to be doing anything. You don't. Um, and a lot of exposition, uh, which is the wizards talking and talking and talking. Not a, not a real problem or anything, but um, oh, there's our plus, uh, plus attack as well. But yeah, overall, I, I had having a lot of fun with this. I'd like to play this offline, you know, not when I'm recording by myself. Um, but this is neat. Look forward to, uh, to continue. I mean, the more mechanics, the better. I'd love to unlock my whole tech tree and get crazy, but, you know, we're nowhere... Nowhere close to that. But thanks everyone for watching. Leave your thoughts below. I'll see you next time. Bye now.